Well, we showed you by now that the suburbs are getting more snow, but there are also plenty of issues in the city of Chicago. Jen DeSalvo in the South Loop right now with a look there. Hey, Jen. Hey, Alex. So fluffy snow, not something we've seen in the city today. It's been rain. It's been snow. And currently on our NBC5 app, we're right there in that green in the middle of all the blue. And this is what it looks like on the city side streets. Look at that. It's 37 degrees currently in the South Loop. So all of this water just piling up on the pavements and it's going to turn into a slippery mess if it doesn't drain off the streets before the snow. City plows attacking the main streets first, so Chicagoans plan for all of this water on your block to turn to ice. With adverse conditions, you're going to be dealing with a bit of stopping distance issues, so you without a doubt want to give yourself a little bit of distance between you and the, uh, the person in front of you. First responders stressing safety and the thick, heavy slush on sidewalks can be dangerous if left untreated, not only for pedestrians. If we are responding to an EMS call, um, our, our paramedics are able to uh, respond to these calls with the least amount of obstacles in their ways. And firefighters too. Snow piling up can freeze around fire hydrants, making them difficult to open or even just find. There's individuals that even go go out as as, uh, as far as even putting out the little kind of uh, flags, kind of indicating where the, where the hydrants are at. Driving in blizzard-like conditions can be risky, but for emergency services, every second counts. If you see uh, emergency vehicles coming through, without a doubt, give them that, that chance to get through. Obviously, they're out there trying to help someone out. Commander Garcia reminding us to move to the right for sirens and lights and currently in the city, lots of water, not that much snow happening at this point. And I have been told by the city of Chicago that all of the salt trucks have moved to the residential streets for now, and that's until the snow comes and they'll have to hit the arterials again overnight. In South Loop, I'm Jen DeSalvo, NBC5 News. And they'll do it all over again. That's right, tomorrow. Jen, thanks so much.